And sweetheart, you have got to think. You have this fantasy, you have these hopes, you have these dreams. If you escape these, your marriage, that you'll get everything. Have you spoken to any single mums? Yes. And what have they said? It's rough. And if you separate, you have to be prepared to end this marriage. You have to be prepared that this will lead to divorce. Because in my experience, when couples have separated, unless it's for something like a week where you go and clear your head and go and stay with your mum because you feel overwhelmed, if you walk out of the house, you need to be prepared that the door is not going to be open. That, that, it that, leads to divorce. That's, that's been my experience too. Delvon, you need to man up here, you need to take your control back wow. and you need to have a say in this marriage because, Ted Mina, she needs to be protected and provided for, which wow. you are doing, but she needs to believe in you and you need to stop treating him like your seventh child. If you squash him down, he is I, not going to be that. able I don't to... do that. You do do that. No, I've I heard don't. it. You do that. Do I squash you down? Mimi, you do. You know How? You, you talk to me crazy in because front of I've people. Because I've lost the respect. Yeah. Uh, look, we're going to look after you for this month, too. We're not going to just cast you out. I'm going to have some sick... I'm going to sick this one on you. <laughs> Watch out. Hey, Hi. guys. Hi, Simone. I'm here to thank save you. your marriage. Yes. Awesome. Thank you for Let's coming. Let's go. All Come right. on. <laughs> You're here, which I'm taking as a good sign. Yes. yes. Are you in? I'm in. Yeah, we're in. Yeah. Can't find that! <laughs> Delvon, you have lost not just one caregiver, but three women who are incredibly close. I lost my mom. She was actually murdered. She was 13 when she had me, and she was around 37 when she passed. Also, my sister from my mom, she was murdered at 18. And it was, uh, you know, gang violence. And then my grandma, who actually raised me, she just died of natural causes. After losing your mom, after losing your sister, after losing your grandma, two years ago, Ted Menia also was faced with death, yes. with breast cancer. How did that affect you? You know, I can't lose another woman in my life, absolutely not. I cannot imagine what you went through. And this, to me, is key in your marriage because what is actually happening is, understandably so, you are so petrified of losing Tedmenia that you cling. Yes. You cling, you cling, yes. for dear life, life. you cling. Yes. And that is so understandable. But actually, it's pushing her away. Exactly. And we're going to do a little exercise which is going to challenge you, but I think it will benefit you. Okay. You find it difficult to be angry because you please Tedmenia so much so that she never walks away. Here today, that needs to change. You need to put your feelings first. Delvon, right here, right now, you are gonna get angry. It makes me angry that you've lost what we had. Turn up the dial. It makes me angry that you no longer do the things that you used to do and, and you just act like nonchalant, that everything is okay. I want you to tell her, if she doesn't want you, you know there are plenty of women who do. It really pisses me off. Fight for your wife. It's all about you. It just, it, it really upsets me. If you don't, you know, make some changes. Stay in your anger. Take it to heart and change. Try to change, okay. not just say that you're going to change. What was that like for you getting angry? It felt good. It felt good. You know, you see, I'm sweating now. <laughs> Ted Mania. I, I felt his heart. I felt his pain. I feel lighter that I got it out. Yeah. In all my experience of working with couples, I have never met somebody who's been through what you've been through. I haven't stopped thinking about you. And I think you're a hero. To get my husband to express his anger towards me was just like, wow. It surprised me to know that I can I so. step up and do the right thing and put myself first and get angry when I have to and let it out and, and just feel alive by getting in touch with my inner emotions and being a man and, and taking control. Ted Mania, there are three major things going on for you. First thing is losing your mother. And then two years ago, 
you are faced with your own mortality. You are also approaching 40. Exactly. <laughs> so all these three things together have made you look at your life and think, do I want to die with regrets? Mm -hmm. And stop blaming Delvon because he isn't sabotaging your life. He isn't stopping you from finding your dreams. You are. Ted Menia, your next challenge is to take responsibility for your life. Go. I have my own choices to make that I can't blame you for all the different things that we've gone through. Running from my marriage is not the answer. I've grown up doing that and I think that that's the way to get away and feel free, but it's not the right answer for, for you, our children, our marriage. I have to know that me going out to the club and meeting different people that are just filling me up temporarily, that I have to take responsibility and not blame you. I'm not going to squash you down anymore. I'm not going to belittle you. I'm going to give you nothing but positive motivation. I'm going to face it head on and do what I have to do to, you know, make it better. Death has followed you two around and I want you now to face it head on because when you do that, you'll start to live. So we're gonna do something called the deathbed confessional. So one of you is gonna lie on your deathbed and the other person is gonna give their confessional. Are you ready? Well, we're going through this challenging time now and you're not doing well. I'm very frightened, I'm very scared, you know, that I might lose you. I just need to do whatever it takes to, so you'll feel better. It, it brings back all the emotions that, you know, that was there when I lost my grandma, when I lost my mom, you know, when I lost my sister. But I will take control. I will make the sacrifice and do whatever it takes and, and everything will be okay. Everything will be okay. Babe, I want to take this time to really, really express to you the way that I feel about you. I do love you. I can't believe that I was so eager to just throw it all away. Now I realize that that was a huge mistake to lose my family and to, to walk away. I'm willing to step up and, and make this work and not be so quick to turn my back and run away. No one ever wants to be in a situation where you've lost someone that you truly love. I feel like my life has been changed. I've learned a lot. I've dealt with some emotions that I've been burying and pushing down. I feel like this really helped our relationship out tremendously and we are going to stay together and work this out. Simone was very awesome. She made a lot of changes. She made a lot of sense to where the light bulb just clicked on in my head and just enlightened me, enlightened my life. So you know what to do? Mm -hmm. And you know that you guys have it in you to do it, right? Yes. Yes. To do it. Thanks to you. Oh, no, thanks to you too. Mm -hmm.